going. Be digging Bruma. So I'd give you a quick uh, kind of overview of what I got at Johnny's. I got some digs there, but they're on my uh, other camera instead of my phone. That's what I'm using now. Because <clears throat> I'm running into a lot of different signals, and I put a video up today, and I as I'm watching it, I'm like, holy cow, I should show them how many signals and what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, a lot of the signals change and do different things, and there's so many variables, like uh, Matchbox cars. i got plenty of those. They have more than one metal on them, so it's given more than one signal at a time. And plus, I, ha I did find some good things, like 20... 20 something wheat pennies um, and some older things, but I'll show you instead of blabbing. All right. We'll start with the good stuff. Here's the large scent that I found. I really like that one. I talked about finding it on the video. It's 1854. These are all wheat pennies over here. Um, here's some modern ones. And you can see the red color. As I mentioned in uh, a different video. Oh, where I found... I believe I found this over to John's house. And did a roundup and a little video. And here's some more of those coins that came from that area. And you can tell because the red ones are... You know... That's what happens when they're in a fire. There's some aluminum and whatnot, but I got a lot of good stuff over there. Some of these matchboxes are old, um, but nothing's in real good shape. The ground is pretty rough on stuff, but I did find some interesting stuff. The sleigh guides, or rain guides for the sleigh are pretty cool. I didn't know what they were at first. I had to research it, so it was kind of neat. I thought it, they were like a, you know, one on a lamp, finial or whatever, but they are rain guides, I'm pretty sure. Um, that doesn't look real old. And this, I believe, is a like the top to a lamp or something like that. Because I found this near it. Not definitely, I think, goes to a lantern. Oop, stuff is falling apart on me here. I haven't done anything to the stuff. I brought it home and I put it on here, and that's kind of where it's at. But uh, Let's see. What else did I want to show you? This is a giant chunk of lead. So, And I found that in the fire. I, this was found near the fire area where I was finding all the brick on the other video that I just posted. Um, lots of lead parts. I'm assuming this probably was a seal of some sort. On a can, because I have found a lot of can parts. And that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it. But there's lots of garbage, and I bring home garbage too to throw it away. You know, anything from something modern to, well, all the junk is usually modern. But here's some old junk. Some iron. Looks like an old hinge thing. Can't make out what that was, but it was probably part of that. So anyways, that's just a little bit of kind of show you the different signals. There's so many different things going on there. There's lots of round things and shapes and different metals, and it really gets you going. And here is a uh, stamp. And of course, I don't have my glasses or anything with me, so I cannot read that, but um, that's pretty neat. Yes, sir. So, that's it. Me digging Vermont. Found a lot of good stuff. There's many more signals, and a lot of those signals where I had to fight them like I did today. Um... So that kind of gives you an idea of what I mean. I'm not just, uh... Trying to make boring videos that are hard to decipher, but some of the targets are deceiving, and there's so many different ones. It takes a long time to dig all this stuff. Here's some uh, regular pennies. They're over there in the garbage because, you know, they're nothing special, really. All these car parts. 
and some of them give off good signals and are very similar to other you know valuable items that you guys can imagine if we don't dig the those certain signals we could be missing out on something pretty good so anyways be digging vermont that's why i be struggling i got the ace 300 from garrett and I like it, and I've noticed on a lot of the videos, even the AT Pros and Max, AT Max, um, still it'll trick you and you dig up a piece of iron or a circular item or aluminum or a shotgun shell. Or, I mean, we got those two. So um, I'm happy with the 300. Someday I'll get another one better model i would like at pro or an at max but anyways those are some of the things we're digging have fun we'll do another video soon plan to get back over there there's still a bunch of signals and we'll try to see what we can find Alrighty. have a good one be digging vermont